Sharks. You've seen them in movies, you're probably intimidated by them to some degree, and maybe you've been bitten by one and are now a were shark. I, I don't know, but I definitely want to know how big they can get. It's science time. We'll start with the reasonable, conservative estimates and specimens, and end up with the really outlandish theoretical giants you always hear about in these kinds of videos. We both know why you clicked this, be honest. So, Sharkwater.com lists the top 10 largest modern sharks by length. There are some familiar faces here, including the Greenland shark, one of the coolest in my opinion, turns out their meat is poisonous to humans, who knew? You can pause to read the whole list. We won't be talking about it much since it's not mass-based, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Oh, and this is Terry. Say hello to Terry, please. Our two candidates for largest shark species of all time are the extant whale shark and the extinct Otodus megalodon. When I say largest, I refer to mass in kilograms, just so you know. We'll start with whale sharks. As I was doing the research for this video, coming through study after study, I learned something incredible. Whale sharks are really big. I know, right? Who would have thought? But seriously, most sources I found calculated an average whale shark to measure between 12 and 15 meters in length and push 30 metric tons. That's 254 times the weight of Dwayne Johnson, on average. But what about when a whale shark breaks its limit? The biggest individual rigorously measured is described in Borel et al. 2011 as stretching 18.8 .8 meters from its snout to the tip of its caudal fin. Wow, surely they can't get any bigger than that. Oh, what did you say, Internet? Che et al. 2002 reports a 20 meter individual from Taiwan measured in March 1987? Buckle up, everyone, we're getting into speculative measurements here. Hold on to your butts. And here's another giant. In 1995, a 20.75 meter shark appeared on the coast of Ratnagiri in India. How many Dwayne Johnsons did it weigh? I don't know, we're getting there. First, Ong et al. 2020 used a growth function to calculate the theoretical size limit of whale sharks based on their growth rate in a natural lifespan. Uh, let's, get a, let's get a drum roll please, uh, everybody put on your speculation hats. 21.9 meters total body length seems to be the limit for this species. Scaling up from two smaller individuals mentioned in this study yields a mass range between 33 and 41 metric tons. Since this is for the biggest whale shark possible, let's pick the higher estimate. Okay, speculative beast mode whale shark is worth 352 Dwayne Johnsons. Now for Jason Statham's worst enemy. Otodus megalodon is the poster child for wacky measurements and clickbait size estimates, so we'll try not to go too far off the deep end. Let's talk about Shimada et al. 2020. This study reviewed jaw, tooth, and body length ratios in 13 living sharks and used them to calculate a maximum size for the meg. Not only did they come up with great new numbers, they also proposed the theory that in addition to endothermy, sibling cannibalism while in the womb could have been a driving factor in why Megalodon got so big. You can pause to read the quote here if you like. It's very cool. Shimada's team concluded that 14.14 meters made a robust but conservative estimate for total body length in a large individual, with the average trending a couple meters below. But we aren't here for conservative estimates, are we? We want outlandish gigantism and absurd statistics. They do throw us a bone, also stating that the Grim Reaper in shark form could have reached at least slightly over 15 meters total length. If you're like me, that at least stood out to you. This isn't the limit yet. Cooper et al. 2020 calculated the Meg's body dimensions based on five different shark species using a massive 16 meter model. Their model was actually volumetrically bulkier and stockier than previous ones just scaling from a great white, so that's good news for us. But how much did it weigh? Well, Roe et al. 2008 and Jacoby et al. 2015 write in a healthy individual's mass at 47 tons and 48 tons respectively. But those estimates were before Cooper's new swole model. That means adjustments. Adjusting by 5%, 10%, and 15% results in 50,000, 52,000, and 55,000 kilograms, respectively. There you have it. The size limit of the biggest shark we know about, brought to you by mostly rigorous science. The biggest we can really expect Megalodon to get, being generous and stretching things just a bit, is around 16 meters and 55 tons. If a new study comes out to upgrade that, well, you know where to go for your clickbait shark video fix. It's here, by the way, in case you'd forgotten.